ibuprofen and paracetamol are Weatherspoons don't have straws, can you sort it out? Because when I go and get my wine, whatever drink I drink. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I thought I would do a sit down um, because this video has been highly requested by a lot of you from my Instagram and from YouTube. Um, so this video is based on my first vlog that I put up on my YouTube channel and that was getting my teeth done at Dental Centre Turkey. Basically, a lot of you have been asking me about the aftercare, um, how my teeth have been, did I have any pains, did I have any aches, did I have any ulcers? So basically, I thought I would come on here, I thought I would film a YouTube video of one month on since getting um, my teeth done. Um, it's probably about near on about five, six weeks, but I just thought I'd do like a one month review and, and let you know and speak to you about everything. So if you are wanting to find out how I've coped with my new teeth, um, then yeah, stick around and keep on watching. Okay, so I flew back from uh, Turkey Dental on the 19th of April, obviously this year. Um, and when I flew back, I flew back the day after I had my teeth actually put in. So I had them put in on the 18th and I flew home on the 19th. Um, and the flight was absolutely fine. Um, for those of you that are gonna ask, because some of you may find that when you're booking your appointments, um, your final appointment when they're actually fit well your final appointments your checkup but you'll find that um some of you may have your fittings the day before you fly home and a lot of people ask about cabin pressure um it's absolutely fine there's nothing wrong um the only pain i had was obviously when they fitted them and i really suffered with my lower um jaw and um, but i'll speak more about that um shortly um but flying home you're fine, there's nothing that you should be worried about because before I went to Turkey, a lot of people said to me, well, hang on a minute, how can you fly home so soon? Um, I didn't know at this point that I would have my teeth actually fitted the day before that I was gonna come home. Um, but a lot of people were saying, why well, are you only going for a week? Um, surely you can't fly? You can, you're absolutely fine. Couple of paracetamols, get on that flight and get home. You'll be absolutely fine. Coming home, my first week home, I I did suffer. And I'm not gonna lie, and I'm always 100% with you lot. And if anyone's thinking about getting this done, this is why I wanna be like 100% honest with you guys, because a lot of people go on YouTube to find out the experiences, to find out the treatment, to find out exactly what happens and i'm here to tell you exactly what went down i'm not necessarily going to say that my experience you're going to experience everyone's got different teeth everyone's got a different threshold of pain everyone's different everyone has different work done some may need more some people may need root canals and implants and tooth extractions which i had the tooth extraction and some people might not need any of that some people may just get a veneer or they'll just get a crown fitted on everyone's different so don't judge but this is just a base guide to tell you and an insight of of what i went through and what my aftercare treatment was so in my other video you saw the vlog um this is my aftercare and then in october it will be part two because i go back um, because like i said i have a bridge and it's temporary from when they did a tooth extraction so they're gonna put my permanent in and I'm actually gonna get eight more done. So two more on the each corners. And um, because when I do smile, you can see, and that's just personal preference for me. But so the week coming back, um, I experienced a lot of pain on my bottom. My bottom teeth were hell. They were really, really, really bad to the point that I actually contacted Turkey Dental myself. And they're there on WhatsApp, they're really good, they're there not just when you fly home, they're always gonna be at the other end of the phone if you've got problems at home. They're there and that's what I love about them. Um, and that's why I chose them because I knew that throughout my whole journey of going to Turkey, being in Turkey and coming home, they're there 24 seven and, and it is brilliant. Um, so I contacted Turkey Dental because I was in agony and I had to wear this retainer as well at the bottom, the gum shield that they give you. Um, 
and yeah it was just it, I, I was really struggling here and um, I started to get ulcers I started to not being able to eat I was back at work and I have my painkillers next to me I have my ibuprofen I have my paracetamol and a couple of times I called in sick at work because yeah I was struggling um, but I contacted Turkey Dental and they said to me that it is, it's just normal to have all those symptoms. They checked over my x-rays and they said there's no indication as to that there's a genuine problem going on. This is just the aftercare and this is what I want to stress to you guys. At the end of the day, if you think about it, the whole mouth has been tampered with and this is what I needed to realise. Basically, I had my tooth taken out, I had my teeth shaved down i had gum contouring and then i had crowns fitted into my mouth so you can imagine the amount of work that got done your teeth are going to niggle how long are they going to niggle for again it all depends on how much work you have done i am probably on the six week my april major almost coming up to yeah eight weeks that i would have had my teeth and i would say now and again i get the niggles not as bad yeah, not as bad i get the niggling like i used to get it like every day and all day sometimes but now and again it's literally a, it's now or like i can't even talk but it's it's not like 24 7. um basically i think it's just certain things like sensitivity so if you go in and have a really cold drink then yeah but again that was when i first got them now it's getting better if i have ice in my drinks it's not that bad um but on the first two weeks jesus take the wheel when i had a and i like to use a straw for everything but when i took the straw and i was drinking like an ice cold glass of water or cold coke oh my god like i wanted to catapult like it was it was really sensitive but like I said, you have to realise that settling, everything's settling down, your mouth is settling down. When you've had your gums filed and your teeth filed, what do we expect? We're not going to be like cracking like amazing the day after. We're not going to be like catapulting and wanting to count, clamp, <laughs> wanting to climb Mount Everest like the day after we've got this stuff done. It's just, it's near on impossible. Like, it's just like going in for surgery, isn't it, really? Like... You're gonna go in for liposuction on a tummy tuck or get your boobs done. You're not gonna come out the day after and be like, bitch, let's just roll. Like we're ready to we're ready to do whatever. So that made me realise that look, you've been on quite a journey. Just take your time. The healing process is not gonna happen overnight and it didn't. But what I'm here to tell you is that it will get better and I I just have grown so much in a person and I never knew that getting my teeth done, I would be so happy. Like it's given me such a confidence boost. I really, really hated my teeth. Um, I would be so depressed. I'd always decide that I would stand on because the tooth that I got pulled out was so far in that every time I took a photo, I looked like I had a missing tooth. And it, it was just hard, but I can't begin to tell you how nice it is to have straight white, straight white teeth. Yes, I've got the white shade because I just think, do you know what? I only live once and this is the only time I'm going to have straight white teeth and that's why I've got it. I'm so annoyed at myself because I was meant to buy this. When you get to, if you go to the Antilia um, branch, the VIP clinic, that's the best one to go to. I mean, I'm sure the others are lovely, but the one that I went to, I was really, really happy. Um, but in Antilia, if you stay near round um, Dental Centre Turkey, they have pharmacies everywhere, 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 everywhere. And they are fantastic. Let me stress to you, I'm so mad at myself. I can't wait to go back in October and bring some back. But basically, they have this mouthwash and it is fantastic. And it's the treated gums, sore gums, anything that's been tampered with. Um, and I'm so mad that I didn't bring this back because this product the colgate one i don't recommend um because i think it will mess with your teeth um the stuff in that is so strong that i think you will mess it, it, it's not good the stuff that they put i'm sorry to say here ruins your life um you've just paid all this money so you're gonna want <laughs> to like not ruin anything but this mouthwash in turkey they prescribe it to you when you get your teeth done anyway but she said to me that I can bring 
a big one back and I, I was meant to go and get it and I was so annoyed that I didn't. I think it worked, I mean I had three items for prescriptions and that only cost me £10. In England one item is now £9 isn't it? <coughs> So, you know, you do the maths, but this bottle was fantastic because it actually really helps. Now a lot of people have inboxed me and saying about ulcers, is it normal to get ulcers after you've had your teeth put in? Absolutely yes, the dentist said they are. And this mouthwash is so good that it actually took away my ulcers when I was in Turkey. And I'm so annoyed because when I came home I got re-ulcers again, and again that's normal. Um, but this mouthwash was absolutely fantastic, so I recommend you guys to get this mouthwash because it really is the bomb. That mouthwash home because when you get your ulcers and um, when your gums have been tampered with and during the healing process, that was absolutely fantastic. And also, the painkillers in Turkey, I think they're like the version of ibuprofen and a painkiller. They were fantastic. If I wish that when I was going through what I went through at home, I bought some more and bought them back. Um, I recently had problems with my wisdom teeth if you've been following me on Instagram and I'm waiting for that to come out. So my teeth journey is just not ending. It's just one thing after another. By the time my wisdom tooth comes out and all that heals, I'm then going back out to Turkey to get the rest of my teeth shaved down. So yeah, but it's worth it. But I'm just saying I wish I had those painkillers because paracetamol and ibuprofen do not touch the sides here. It, again, everyone's different and may be different for you, but for me, ibuprofen and paracetamol are <laughs> Sorry to say, but they really, 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 really are. Like, when a dentist tells me, like when my dentist said to me, oh, take ibuprofen and then four hours later take paracetamol ain't nobody got time for that like when you're rolling around in pain on the floor and you're trying to tell me that paracetamol is really gonna to tell me that paracetamol is gonna end my misery it really ain't let's be real like no no paracetamol don't touch the sides so when you go to Turkey and you get your teeth done, make sure you bring their drugs back because their drugs are 10 times better than our drugs. This is how good they are. They legit, so when I came back after having them done, um, legit, I was in so much pain. I was like, oh, this, this hurts like so much. I couldn't move, I was numb, everything. And then my friend gave me, love them, miss them so much. Shout out to them. Um, basically, they gave me the tablet. Um, I kid you not, within five minutes they worked. And that's another thing. Who in their right minds when paracetamol, how long does it take to work? You're like rolling around in pain. And it doesn't matter if you buy that one that says Panadol Extra Relief Nest the Time. No. No, 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 it takes about half an hour or 40 minutes for this shit to actually work. When you're in pain, you want something for the pain. Not to wait another, like, um, two hours of your life for this damn thing to work. And then by, by the time it kicks in and you're relieved of pain for all in all about 10 minutes, you then have to go through the whole thing again and take another dose. So I recommend to you, if you do have pain which you will when you come back i'm sure you will everyone has it to anyone that has not had any niggly pain i rate you everyone gets it but if you have that bring back the medicine back from turkey it's 100 percent better it's cheaper and it does the job let's just not slate paracetamol anymore there might be some fans on here that like it so let's roll with that here's me with my coffee in and one needs her coffee mm. how cute are these cups these are from ikea i love ikea who does not love ikea but the great thing about that is you don't need a telly you don't need to sit at home if you go to ikea and you go to the car park and you watch everyone trying to get their crap into their cars oh mate it's a shit show <laughs> Thing ever. I think most marriages end in IKEA, 
most relationships end in Ikea. It is the funniest thing you will ever witness in your life. And when people get so desperate that they start unpacking the stuff out of the cardboard boxes, trying to get it in. I know I've gone off the subject, but it just reminds me. <laughs> about now is a lot of you have also been talking and asking me questions about eating and am I struggling what can I eat am I right now so again when I came back from Turkey I struggled um, with eating I was so scared to even bite into a crisp um, but I think I literally took that to extreme um, I was like not anticipating how strong my teeth actually were like these are really really strong um and i would sit there and i'd be like no i've just had my teeth done i, I can't even bite into this crisp but i'd literally get my crisp and i would go and i'd do it so gently and everyone at work just looked at me and thought what the hell is wrong with you like just bite into the bloody crisp but yeah i was really sensitive and i was so worried but let me tell you these teeth are so strong and but when when you're when you're like that and when you've just had them done i think you just feel insecure and you just feel like if i eat this is it going to irritate me um so forth what i recommend is stay away in the first couple of weeks or the first three weeks again everyone's different because of what they've had done but i would stay away from icing your drinks I would stay away from very hot foods to very cold foods like i won't go and eat ice cream on the first week that i've got my teeth done it may be soothing but you'll find that your sensitivity i mean mine now i think my teeth are way more sensitive but then they were sensitive anyway um but yeah i would just stay away from very hot foods to very cold foods and um, give it about four weeks use a straw for everything that's my number one go-to weather spoons don't have straws can you sort it out because when i go and get my wine whatever drink i drink i always say i never really drink wine i end up drinking wine getting hammered <sighs> jesus i always say i'm never drinking wine the hangover the next day legit is not fun it takes me all weekend to recover going off the subject but don't go to weather spoons if you get your teeth done because they don't bloody do straws Weather spoons, if you're watching, I need a straw. Sort it out, sort it out, sort it out. I don't understand. Or now they're bringing out these cardboard straws. Oh, oh my God. What are those cardboard straws all about? I can't deal. They are awful. The, the, the taste, and then it like starts to just disintegrate into your mouth. I mean, yeah, that's really good. Why don't you just kill us off? Yeah, so you're sorting out the um recycling but just finish off us humans instead we'll just eat the cardboard that's fine we'll just crack on over spoons get some straws so um other foods you're not allowed to eat fudge don't even attempt it or toffee like car toffee you'll be back to on that flight to turkey before you know it um apples stay away from unless you puree them i suppose <laughs> and then you can chop them up finely and eat them like that but don't bite into an apple and don't eat anything cold out of the fridge i.e chocolate um just hard chocolate again you, you you're asking for problems there um but in terms of eating now i'm absolutely fine i can have ice in my drinks and i can have hot food and in terms of like heat as in like well that's spicy food but in terms of like heating your food up like i can have it really hot it doesn't it's not sensitive um and yeah i've got no problems with eating um there's there's nothing that actually bothers me apart from the foods that i've named that you're not going to be able to hack through like toffee and fudge and things like that but i'm absolutely fine now i mean now they're niggling a bit but sometimes it does that, but it doesn't help that I've got a wisdom tooth problem as well. So everything's just all going on. Um, but as the time is going on, I just want you guys to know that you will be absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong. It's normal. Let your teeth heal. This is part of the process. It even says it in your guarantee that you get from Turkey Dental. It says you can experience these symptoms up to four weeks mine has gone on longer and that's fine but i know that it's okay because the pain is decreasing i know that i'm not getting so sensitive to certain things now when i'm eating and i'm drinking 
So it's absolutely fine. We're all in the same boat. At the end of the day, we've all got amazing teeth. And um, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and I wanted to share with you the experience that I've been through because anybody that's thinking about getting it done, I've searched on YouTube, I've watched people's vlogs, no one showed me what the dentist looked like, no one actually explained what the prescriptions you need and about mouthwash that will help blisters when you come home. And the other thing that I stress to you is the water flosser that I use. Now, when I first used this, it was an absolute shit show. I kid you not, I gave myself a shower. You can buy them on Amazon, you can buy them in um, Argos. Um, you can't buy them in supermarkets, I haven't seen them. If you ask them what a water fluster is, they all look a bit confused and just forget it. Just, you know, you just think whatever. Um, actually, Lidl, that's where I got mine from, um, but they range from £20 up to £200. Um, I just bought like a £30 one for now and it's doing me fine. I use it twice a day, I do it morning and evening, and I kid you not, they take your dental right with this, but this does help with your healing process. Use it and it really cleans. The amount of stuff that comes out after you've brushed your teeth, you will be shocked. If you want to look after your teeth, you spent loads of money, if you don't want no crap inside them, because no offence, my toothbrush can't get into these tight gaps because they are straight and these are Hollywood. Um, but this water flosser, like you watch the f sorry to say it, but you watch the food coming out, and it's just amazing. So, I must stress to you, you must buy a water flosser, they are absolutely fantastic and they will help with the healing process. I don't know because if you think about it, if there's food stuck there, and you know, and that's going on, days are going on, you, your teeth are gonna, and you're already in pain anyway that food is going to irritate your mouth, it's going to become infected and, and you don't want that. So water flosses is a must. Um, I will link down below the hotel again that I stayed at. I will link down below um, where to send off an email um, because that's what you do if you've got an inquiry to go get your teeth done. I will link that down below. Um, I will be filming part two. Um, I think I'm going to call it the final result or something so in October I go again and I'm going to get my permanent put in and I'm going to get the rest finished and I'm going to have someone with me so I can have someone actually film the process this time so you can really see what goes down I'm going to take you to the chemist I'm going to show you everything I'm going to show you all the products that I use like from the mouthwash to the ibuprofen um, tablets I think I've covered everything if I haven't then be sure to Drop me a message down below in the description or catch me on Instagram and send me a message through there. I've just wanted to spread the word and show you guys exactly what this whole experience is made of and what it entails. And I'm hoping that I've given you enough information. Um, and please don't be scared because I am the biggest wimp in the world. Don't like needles, don't like anything. Um, I've managed childbirth and let me tell you, I've managed to get my teeth done so if you if I can get it done you can get it done go get it done if you really want your teeth done I look back at it now and I've never been more proud of myself because one I hate flying so I had to go on a plane on myself <laughs> by myself and then I was out there on my own and then I went through my whole dental experience on my own as well um, I give myself a pat on the back because you know, it, it's a life experience, it's life changing. I met some incredible people and I now have the confidence that I never had. Um, I'm not gonna be like big headed, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not ugly and I, I know that I'm quite pretty um, and that's good because you need to have confidence in yourself but there was always something for me and there's been two things, it's been my weight and it's been my teeth and I'm doing my weight now and I've had my teeth done and for those of you that are still in and are in that pain for just that week it will be done and and you've got yourself like your teeth and you don't have to get the bright shade you don't have to get them straight but if it's something that you want to do go do it because let me tell you guys a lot of people say this but i'm being generally honest you only live once and make the most of it conquer your life if you want things in life work for it i did um 
you know, and, and just be happy because what's worse than living life with regret? Absolutely just go for it. Um, I will always be here if you guys need any advice or any questions answered about the process. I'm more than happy to sit down and talk to you because I know what it's like. And some of you may be going out and doing this on your own or some of you will have someone with you. Um, but yeah, I hope this covers everything. I've covered everything from having um, pain afterwards, from eating afterwards, to ulcers, um, and for your aftercare advice. And make sure you wear your mouth guard as well, because even though it's sore, it's worth it. So use it. Also, sensodyne toothpaste on your ulcers is fantastic. Use that as well, that's another tip for you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this video. Um, my next video, I know I keep saying it, I'm trying to get out a video a week. I've just been so busy lately, like I've quit my job and then I've got another job but I'm waiting to start and then I've been focusing on trying to lose weight and then I had this issue with my wisdom tooth. It's just one thing after another. And being a mum, it's not easy. Um, but I just wanna thank you if you sat down and tuned in and watched this video. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you give it a thumbs down you give it a thumbs down I will link everything in the description box below um, let me know your thoughts let me know what videos you want and like I said if you need any help and advice on any questions answered about tea um, be sure to give me a message don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you on my next video